Okay, so we're gonna walk through how to start looking up your logo for the tortilla assignment. So those of you who chose not to make a tortilla from scratch, you can make a logo. So let's start off with some research. <clears throat> let's look up Spanish company logos. And I'll go to image. Let's see. That's kind of cool here. Just in case you guys can't see that. That one's pretty cool. This one has a Spanish feel to it too. I like all the colors in this one. Oh, I like this like zigzaggy look here. So let's see. All right, I, I changed it to Spanish logo. This might be more of what we need. I love this too. That's cute. Can you guys see that? That's a good one. I like this lady here, too. So, okay. So Spanish culture is red and yellow, but if you go to Mexican culture, it's red, um, yellow, and green. So it's something to keep in mind. So then you're going to open up your Canva, and we're going to go to, um, let's go ahead and do a blank, so hit create a design over here, the blue button under your name, create a design, and let's do custom dimension, change it to inches, and we'll do 10 inches by 10 inches, because that's about the size of a tortilla. And just so that you guys are clear, a tortilla would be I want you guys to see some examples and I'll add some to your file. So I'm looking up flour tortilla packages. <clears throat> so I know you've seen these like in the stores. And you see how they're always clear. So that's something to keep in mind. They're always clear. The shape is usually kind of in a circle since what it's packaged with is a circle. So heads up, like how this one has a circle as a shape and they use a flag. So again, I said the red, yellow, or the red and green, red, white, and green. Sorry, I said that wrong last time. I said red, green, and yellow. It's red, white, and green, and the Spanish flag is red and yellow. So I'm getting mixed up. So just some inspiration. So you need to think of your company name. So I think I might go with mm, let's look up what is a word for good in Spanish. So if you guys didn't know, it's buena or bueno. And then maybe let's look up the word flower. Harina. Buena harina. So good flower. But I think it's the other way around in Spanish culture. The object comes first. So harina buena. So 
maybe I'm going to have my company be named Good Flower. Sound good? Bueno. Alright, so let's look up some text. Have some text options here on the sides. Let's see, what's something that's like saucy? Oh, I like this font. I don't know if I like these circles around it, so I'm going to ungroup it and get rid of this. And drag them over. So I'm going to start doing a time lapse for you actually on the project. 